Dames en heren, welkom bij weer een nieuwe speler in de spotlight. Met vandaag Albert Roesnak. En waar anders kunnen we beter interviewen dan in ons eigen Cambuurstadion. Albert Roesnak, player in the spotlight. How are you? Yeah, good. After training now. Tired? A um, little bit, but there's some few days coming up. Uh, we are free, so looking forward to it. How are you uh, enjoying uh, Leeuwarden so far? Yeah. yeah, it's been good since the first day I came here. And um, the, the games all we've played in the preseason and in the league, uh, I think we've done very well as a team. And yeah, I'm happy with that. You're here on uh, loan, of course. Um, do you notice a lot of difference between uh, your English club, uh, City and Cambu? Yeah, there is a difference, as you know. But, um, but I, uh, for me, it's for sure a step forward to play at Red Divisi in, uh, in a team that play one of the best footballs I've seen. So yeah, I take it as a, as a step forward and just trying to make the most of it. Can you compare English, cup of, uh, English clubs like uh, City uh, to Cambu? Mm. No, I don't think you can compare the English clubs to the Dutch clubs in general because um, yeah, in England it's uh, much more money I think involved in football and um, the philosophy is uh, different. But it's normal, it's every country has something of their own, you know, so um, yeah, I don't think you can compare it, but uh, I think it's good that it's different, every league is different, because not uh, if it's football in uh, all of the world the same, then it's not going to be, you know, fun for anybody, so I think it's good that it's a little bit different. No. How is it to play with uh, big players like uh, Aguero and uh, Touré? Yeah, they are, they are very big players, you know, um, when I was younger I only saw them in a TV play and uh, Luckily, I got uh, one time to play with them and a few times to train with them. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a dream for every young player, you know, to, to be able to train and play with those guys. Okay, well, we have a lot of uh, questions from you. First uh, question is for me. Uh, okay. How's your love life uh, at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's good, you know. Yeah, because that's uh, our first question from your uh, teammate, your good okay. friend, uh, Dejan. Okay, Albert. Now, so now you fall in love again. So, what we can expect from you in next games? Wow! Thanks, Dan, for the question. Um, yeah, I think uh, Dan is a little bit worried that I'm not gonna have as uh, much time for him as I had. But um, yeah, just a message to Dan that uh, I'm still gonna find uh, a lot of time for you. So don't worry about that. He's jealous. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Our first question. It's from uh, Pieter van der Bij. He's asking, uh, who's your hairdresser? Yeah, I go to this place called uh, K and K. Yeah, and I think it's a good time to go to now because it's a uh, growing. So yeah, I went there in the first week that I came to Leeuwarden, and I liked it. So I just keep going to the same place. Uh, Lisa Prince is asking, what do you think of Leeuwarden, and what do you do in uh, Leeuwarden in your spare time? Um, in my spare time, I spend the uh, a lot of time actually pretty much all of my free time with the guys here so like uh, Dejan, Vitas, uh, Marlon, um, Daniel also when he stays you know sometimes in Leeuwarden so uh, we go for food together for a coffee sometimes to cinema so it's just the uh, normal stuff you know off the football. Yeah you guys really seem to have a good connection with each other. Yeah it's, um, it's uh, most of the times like this because uh, first of all we are foreigners you know and second, we don't, we're here on our own, you know, so we tend to, we tend to spend the time together. Yeah, how is it to be on your own here? Is it your first time? Uh... Uh, no, no, no. I lived in England uh, without my family since I was 15. So I think I got used to it, you know, and uh, since I'm 17, I'm living completely on my own, in an apartment on my own. So it's, uh, yeah, now it's normal, you know. Your uh, cooking skills are decent? Uh, no, I don't no? cook, no. <laughs> when I have to, sometimes, once a month. <laughs> Glenn van der Meer is asking, uh, how did it feel to score your first goal and the first goal for Cambuur uh, this season? Yeah, I didn't expect it was going to come in the first game. And it was a pretty hard game against Twente. So yeah, I was glad uh, that I scored because it's, you always want to make the impression to the new club, you know, uh, as soon as possible. And uh, 
yeah, it was a perfect timing right at the start and then it uh, took a little bit of pressure off me and then I could just uh, enjoy you know, my football. Rick Alkema is asking, what's your best moment uh, at Cambu this season? The best moment? Yeah, of course, the first goal was a very nice moment. Every goal is a nice moment. But, um, but the best moment, I would say, was the 0-1 win at Heracles away. Because it was, the, yeah, it was a Friday night. It was a very tough game, you know, we scored in a 93rd minute and it was also the first win of the season and the first away win for Cambuur in Eredivisie in a long time. So, yeah, that felt really special, you know, and um, not just for me, but as a team, that was, yeah, I would say the best moment. Now you can ask a question for Bob, who's a player in the spotlight next week. Uh, Bob, I'm going to kill you a little bit, but I'm going to ask you, um, how many times have you been to McDonald's this week? <laughs> 